Hi. <laughs> hey, everyone. This is Joel from RepSpark. I think that you're hearing, seeing me. Maybe somebody can Slack me and confirm that. Um, welcome to the first ever RepSpark, new brands on RepSpark webinar. Uh, we've got some really cool brands that we want to introduce you to. Um, they're going to get on here and tell you their story, show you some of the things that uh, they're bringing to market. And um, hopefully we can make some really strong brand and buyer connections today. Now, thank you. Um, again, my name is Joel. The first brand we're gonna, gonna introduce is Marie Birdie. Uh, Marie Birdie is an emerging brand. They're uh, changing how girls interact with golf. They're challenging traditional game stereotypes and they're encouraging girl golfers to participate at all levels. Uh, they've got some really great looks, um, really an up and coming, fast growing brand. And um, right now we're gonna introduce Ellen Christman, who is the founder and CEO of Marie Birdie. So take it away, Ellen. Hi, Joel, thank you so much. Um, all right, well, let's hop into it. My name is Ellen, I'm the founder of Marie Birdie. And um, I don't have slides today. I'm just going to kind of show you and talk to you a little bit about what we're about. Um, you know, we are a girls tween and teen uh, golf apparel company. And our mission is really to um, make golf more accessible to this age group. And the way that we're doing that is through our fun first approach, um, through clothing made just for her, uh, with a very kind of capsule, you know, wardrobe, uh, everything can kind of mix and match. And really with um, the design details and aesthetic that a tween to teen girl might enjoy. Now, I know what you're all thinking, oh my gosh, tween and teen, that's so niche. Absolutely, it's niche. Um, but from my own philosophy, I mean, from my own experience, what I found with my uh, tween age daughter is that a lot of the clothing was either, you know, sized or designed for the little girl. So like ruffles and, you know, cutesy stuff or boom, fast forward, they want, um, you know, to make these these girls into young women, and the and the ladies, you know, extra small or extra 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 small, oftentimes doesn't fit their body. Um, you know, so that's why our clothing, like I said, is made just for this age group. Um, we're we generally fit from size eight years old to around like eighteen, so you get a nice ten year stretch in there. We have four different sizes that range from, um, you know, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Um, with some really great design details like pockets in all of our skirts, UPF 50, quick dry fabric, um, and also the price points are pretty incredible. Uh, retail, retail prices are 44 to 52 for the skirts. Wholesale on that is 20 to 24. Same with the tops. And then we have a jacket that wholesales for 30, retails for 62, um, and then a dress that's at retails for 56. Um, you know, the, and again, like, it's like tween and teen and you know some people might have already uh you know have shut this shut this off but i hope not because this is really an age group that your shop or your club or your club should care about research has shown that girls by the age of 14 have dropped out of sports um twice the rate of their male peers and a lot of there's a lot of reasons that go into that but two that really resonated with me were um accessibility and also visibility. So I know a lot of clubs, you know, are um, family friendly and they have juniors programs, but then you go in the clubhouse and there's still nothing for the kids in there. And for girls who are very much, you know, picking up these social cues and the visible factors around them, when they walk into a shop and it's just very like male dominated and there's nothing for them, they're not seeing like a great rack, you know, of clothing behind them that's, you know, enticing. Um, they will not just say, oh, you know, this shop isn't for me, a lot of times they're going to close the doors totally on golf. So, um, you know, what is your, you know, I've just proposed a question out there. What is your showroom, you know, saying to young girls? I just actually had the, um, the fort, you know, I was fortunate enough this weekend to do a little pop-up trunk show at a club here in LA where I'm based and they don't sell any kids clothes at all. Um, and while I was there during the three hours, I sold 35 pieces. I mean, people were so excited. Girls were so excited. Um, and, you know, we just launched at the PGA show in January. We, you know, had a lot of great press. We're on the Golf Channel. We're named one of the best six brands um, out of the PGA show, um, new brands out of the PGA show. Um, and, you know, we had some clubs that really embraced us early. And they got their first shipments in mid-April, late, you know, late April. And... 
they have already reordered, you know, or placed special orders. Um, so the clubs that are really embracing our brand, the clubs that are embracing juniors, um, they're seeing amazing results. So how are we making it easy for you guys? How are we making, you know, Marie Birdie and junior golf more accessible? Um, our minimum order is only $500. So that's roughly, you know, 20 to 25 pieces. Um, we ship from St. Louis, our warehouse is in St. Louis. So that's a really easy, you know, ship three days or so. Um, we have at once inventory available. You can find us on RepSpark. Uh, we have an embroidery program, although that's a little bit delayed because there's some notes issues, um, but we're gonna get there. Uh, and, you know, I just, you know, I'll just say, I'll kind of end with this. Um, you know, I know it's a stretch and I know a lot of times, you know, um, you know, trying new things can be uh, intimidating, but that's, you know, <laughs> you know, especially with young kids, we're asking kids every day to try new things. So I would just, you know, ask you guys to stretch, try something new, bring on a line that is, yes, very niche, but it's, you know, it's so profound, the impact that it has on a girl when they walk into a shop, you know, like this weekend when the girls would come and see all the fun clothing, um, try it on, and it's fitting them like it's supposed to, it's making them feel confident. There was actually one mom who I think bought eight pieces and she was like, oh, you know, my, my daughter, she just wears her, her brother's hand-me-down clothes. And, you know, can we just take three pieces? I know it's special order, but like you have these three pieces in her size. Can, can she just take these? She's got a match today at three o'clock. And so, you know, I was breaking down about three o'clock and she came back and she was wearing this, you know, cinnamon girl outfit here, um, which is one of her best sellers. And you could see how confident she felt she was beaming. Her dad came over. He's like, look at her. Look how great she, you know, and, and, you know, that is what we're about. We're about inspiring that confidence. Um, and we really hope that you'll go with us on this journey because when you show up for the girls, they're going to show up for you. And, and it's just profound the impact that it can have not only on girls, but also on your club. So thanks for uh, listening. And we hope to uh, see a rep spark request come through at Marie Birdie. Great stuff, Ellen. Thank you for sharing with us. I, um, you know, you and I have talked before, and, and the statistics about young ladies and, and girls getting into golf are, are really amazing. And I think it's it's one of the most surprising things I see coming out of the pandemic is, hey, how many people have taken up golf, and that the demographics of those new golfers are really skewed towards women golfers, and more particularly towards young women's golfers. So I think, yeah. you know, this is a great area for shops to start to pay attention to. Um, and hopefully they're going to start to, to see some pull from, from their customers to bring your brand into, into the store. So thanks for joining us today. And uh, really excited to, to uh, be working with you. Um, the next new brand we have is um, a Putnam, which is founded by Allie Putnam. We met with Allie down at the PGA show in Orlando and had a really great time getting to know her and learning all about the brand. Um, a Putnam is a resort to sport brand for women um, that, I'm sorry, for women, the brand is also committed to providing elegant lifestyle wear that really respects mm -hmm. the history of golf. So it's, um, it's really elegant. It's really beautiful. The, the clothing line is, is fantastic. I, I know, uh, Ali, you just recently launched your B2C site. And so okay. um, yep. I think you guys are ready to go in uh, RepSpark. You've done a great job with your yes. site. The models look great. The photos look great. And uh, with that, I'll hand it over to, to Ali. Thanks, Joel, for the intro. And it's um, so fun to see a brand um, like Ellen's brought to the table because we were both like the newbies on the block um, at the PGA show. But we're both experiencing some awesome growth and resonating with these um, niches and these women and, and young teens that we're finding. So it's cool to be a part of that group. So as Joel mentioned, uh, we are a luxury resort to sport brand that really honors the tradition of golf. And I started the business in January with just a need and a, you know, self need selfishly that um, I really felt was missing in the sport. And um, I had belonged to a club that has a pretty formal dress code. And I felt like everything in golf is really shifting to this prep. I mean, sporty, preppy, sexy. Those are like the three buckets of where golf is. And I felt, felt it was harder and harder to find 
kind of a neutral, beautiful, elegant selection of golf wear that um, met the requirements of a stricter dress code. So I started working on this project and really what it comes down to is our goal is to offer timeless, versatile pieces that really feel lifestyle, but have this performance functionality for the sport and to allow our women to move confidently through their lives and meet the requirements of a busy mom. I'm, I've got five boys myself. And so it had to fit that for me and allow me to go from running the kids around, working a full day, um, popping under the course or even more so when it can happen is travel to course and then even the club. So, and never having to worry about, um, is this appropriate for the course? Is it appropriate for a resort? You're never having to question that with any AE Putnam product. Um, I'm gonna share this slide real quick just cause I've got some visuals that I think will help um, you guys take a quick peek at a Putnam. Um, okay. So it is not wanting, letting me present. Um, okay, that's fine. It's not letting me do that. Nobody can see my screen, can you, Joel? Sorry. Um, okay, <laughs> that's okay. Um, so we'll just go back to the screen. You can get a very good visual of um, the product and as I mentioned, um, these garments, while they feel lifestyle and um, can function in a very versatile way, we honor the tradition of golf in a few ways. And it's that meeting um, kind of the formal dress code. And then the fabric selection is huge. I mean, I'm making sure that we're very intentional with those fabrics, that hand feel is extremely important. Um, the functionality of the fabric, whether it's um, modal that's naturally um, moisture wicking, breathable, but doesn't look like a shiny athletic material and can function with a pair of jeans or just in your everyday lifestyle look. And then these subtle details that are found on some of our pieces, like our shorts have an extension of the belt loop with a little T holder. And we have an amazing sustainable coating on our bottoms that, um, and our an reversible anorak that repels um, water and stains. And that's a feature that we'll be applying to a lot more of our garments, um, really from that travel and like busy mom <laughs> functionality. I, I'm going to put it on everything because it's so awesome. Um, and then, you know, lastly is just overall this design and these, um, the elements of the collections that we're putting together is that they're this kind of capsule minimalism maximized is what we call it, which is exuding um, styles that can be um, worn in more ways than one and are staples in your closet. So like today I've got our button up, which is I golf in all the time. It's got this really cool stretch knit cuff so that I can golf in this and um, but also dress it up. Today I've got a pair of like trouser jeans on and you never know that this is a functional golf piece and it's just very polished and functional. Um, Lastly, you know, we've got obviously on RepSpark a good, um, great account set up since the PGA show, and we're doing embroidery and fulfillment out of Dallas. And um, no order minimums right now. We carry petite zero through eight, and then we've got zero through 16 and extra small through extra, extra large. So meeting some spread in sizes. Our target consumer is probably that 35 to 50 woman. Um, but the nice part is we've got a lot of cool pieces that resonate with um, the woman that's 50 to 75. So um, price points, as we're kind of set in this luxury um, position, range from, let's say, 130 to 350, which would be our travel blazer, which is a really cool machine washable, completely stretched and tailored uh, blazer. So Lots more to come from me, Putnam, and i um, excited to share that. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out and you will get me directly. Thank you, Rough Spark, for having me. Fantastic. Ali, thank you so much for, for joining us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just really love the line. And um, I, I know from all the people lined up to, to talk to you at the PGA show, you, you're probably very popular these days. Thanks, so. thanks. We, we had a good story to tell. Thank That's you great. for letting That's us do great. it here too. 
keep up the great work. Um, and our, our next brand uh, that we're going to roll out and introduce today is Boathouse Sports. I'm not sure if if John Strotbeck uh, has joined us yet or not. Um, hopefully he's here. Uh, John founded Boathouse in the mid 80s. He was a two time Olympian on the US rowing team. And something they discovered there is that they needed better uh, waterproof clothes. And so Boathouse has a killer line of rainproof gear for men and women. They, um, I'm actually a customer, so I, I can really, really endorse these guys. Um, the, the rain gear is awesome. I mean, it's Gore-Tex. It is extremely well made. Um, I can honestly say that uh, it, it's the best rain gear that I've had. I've been golfing for 40 years. So, um, so excuse me. Um, so I'm not sure if, if Boathouse, if these guys made it, um, they might've had some, some difficulties getting here today. Um, so let's go ahead and, and move on to the next brand that we want to introduce today, which is Swing Juice and uh, their founder, John Mason, who is also the creative director there, is going to join us. So let me navigate through uh, community. Hey there, John. Let's navigate hey. through community to uh, Swing Juice. Um, Swing Juice was founded in 2004, as the name might imply, as a uh, drink manufacturer. And in 2014, uh, they transitioned to become a golf-inspired apparel brand. And they're making some really cool, really fun gear. Uh, looks like John's wearing one of the shirts right now, if I recognize that from, from your catalog. Uh, yeah. It's all I wear. So yeah, it's, right on. Yeah, I'm wearing something. <laughs> right on. So it's a, a fun lifestyle apparel brand for golf and more. Uh, they've been featured in ESPN, Golf Channel, Golf Magazine, Sports Illustrated, and probably 50 other places that, that I'm not aware of. So here's a look at, at the RepSpark catalog. And um, with that, I'll, I'll turn it over to John and let him tell us all about the brand. Well, Joel, thank you so much. And, you know, again, thank you for, for allowing us to, to be a part of this. Uh, again, my name is John Mason. I'm the founder and creative director of Swing Juice. And as Joel alluded to, I originally started the brand back in 2004 um, as, an, as a golf energy drink, you know, just sort of an idea that popped in my head. And, you know, over the course of, of, of about 10 years, just really was, was hyper based or locally, locally based in New England. And then in about 2013, 14, the, the beverage industry just became a, a very difficult mountain to climb. So, uh, you know, again, the, the, the brand was always rooted in golf. So just kind of decided in the, in the middle of the night to, to really pivot and turn the brand into a, a, an apparel brand. It started with some fun graphic T-shirts, which, you know, really are, is, is the base of the brand today. And over the last several years, you know, we've morphed into some really high quality performance gear. And the, the whole ethos behind the brand is to really wear your passion on your sleeve. You know, we're really fun, all about having some fun and in, in, in casual atmosphere. And, you know, as you can see in some of our prints, you know, we have some great graphic tees, some fun uh, performance gear that, again, allows you to kind of, you know, show your passion for, for the game and in, 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 in a, either in a loud way or in a subtle way. And I think, you know, as we've seen over the last several PGA shows that we've that we've attended, I think what's really, you know, getting uh, consumers and, and, you know, customers to gravitate towards a brand is that we are different. We're decidedly different. You know, there's a lot of brands you can choose from out there, but I think, you know, we have something for everybody and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we can we can we can work with you down the road. Yeah. Um, you know, part of this uh, for us, too, is that we have a wide range of product. You know, again, graphic tees, you know, it's, it's our bread and butter. Um, you know, we have some great programs in place that not only for our core uh, line, but also for some great custom programs as well. And then really, as the last several years have gone by, we've launched our performance wear, you know, from polos to, you know, quarter zips to performance hoodies, just High quality products, uh, poly micro microfibers, uh, just, you know, again, really high performance gear that I think you know, any one of your customers would really uh, gravitate towards, you know, some, you know, we carry low minimums, uh, quick turnaround. I think one of the, the biggest, um, you know, benefits to working with us is that you do get a quick turnaround time and great customer service. I think we're, you know, we're lauded for that and, you know, great communication. So, you know, again, if, if there's something that whether it's, you know, a tournament you have that's that's 
popped up that somebody's slipped out of your your radar and we can kind of fill in there you know we're more than happy to do so um like like uh, joel had mentioned we're, we're set up here on rep spark we have our catalog uh is up there and if there's something you see on our website swingjuice.com you can certainly reach out and we can you know we'd be happy to uh to accommodate you any way we can fantastic John, what what sort of traction are you guys seeing with with golf shops? Are you starting to to get stocked in there and seeing some good sell through? Yes, I mean we really since the the PGA show, it's just been a a, a complete whirlwind, um, you know. And and again, I think I think part of this too is that you know when you do look through our line, we are different than you know brands that you see within our space. I mean, I think our core customer is you know our our core demographics. Uh, you know, between the age of 24 and, you know, 50 years old, you know, mostly male, but we, we did launch a, a great women's line that I think, you know, again, is it's something that, you know, all of our prints, you won't, you won't see them anywhere else. And, and I think that's a, you know, that's, that's a benefit uh, to working with us. So, you know, all of our designs are original, you know, I, I obviously lend a hand in that and it's something that, you know, we take up, we take pride in and, Again, I, 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 I believe you'll find something that any one of your, your clientele would, would be interested in. That's great. And you guys are primarily uh, golf shirts, T-shirts, hats. Do you guys do any accessories? What other stuff are you guys carrying? Go, primarily golf, uh, golf uh, performance from a performance standpoint, you know, polos, quarter zips, uh, performance hoodies, which are probably my favorite uh, item that we sell in, in, in our catalog. Uh, graphic t-shirts again you know whether it be custom for an event that you might have or just some fun sayings that we have in house golf and tacos golf and pizza you know really trying to to put you know put two fun things together and you know again hats uh as well as some you know we have some other items as you know, koozies and in and um cups as well but you know again i think from our from our apparel standpoint uh there's definitely something in there for everybody Fantastic. John, well, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it and uh, good luck to you. Yeah, thank you for your time. All right. Fantastic. Um, let's see. Our next brand that we're going to present today is uh, Noonan Golf. And they, these guys are, are really bringing a, a fun angle to, to golf. Their designs are, are just a blast, man. They will, they will make you happy. Um, I met... Um, Marcus at the PGA show in January, he came up to our booth and he had a sample product and it was already ready for retail. It had a hanger tag on it. Um, it was amazing. They still hadn't even launched their product. So uh, I, th I think Marcus has a strong background in big retail and brings a lot of his expertise to, to what they're doing at, at Noonan. Um, as soon as I met him, immediately fell in love with the brand. They bring color and fun and just like these designs that are, uh, in my mind, they're sort of reminiscent of uh, Miami Vice, you know, in like the late 80s, like a lot of neon and really cool stuff. Um, and it's just fun. Noonan, in their words, these are word, their words, not mine. Uh, they said they won't necessarily make you look better, but you will always look goodly while you're doing it. So I hope that's still your tagline and I'm, and I'm not dragging you back into an old one, but uh Marcus, no, thanks that's... for joining us. We're excited to hear about the brand. Uh, and I'll, I'll let you take it from here. Yeah, thank you for the intro. That's that's still the uh, the slogan that we put on all of our mailers that go out with all of our customers. Oh, is so look good. goodly, golf, and then we have a basically ad lib style blankly, right? So every yeah. single one of our mailers that we send out to our customers is is customized for them. It could be weirdly, could be boldly, could be colorfully. Um, we fill in those blanks to make it make it feel like it's it's personal to every single golfer. Very cool. Awesome. So I will share my screen. Entire screen. All right. Is everybody seeing my screen? We good. All right. Either way, I'll I'll hop in. Um, so Nuna Golf, we launched in 2021, so basically a post-COVID um, company, and we set out to do four um, major things um, within the golf industry. So the first was accessible. I think one of the really cool things about the other brands on this call 
um, also identified this as a huge opportunity. Um, so we wanted to create high quality products at an affordable price. So our, our threshold that we try to hit is the average cost of a round is around $45. How do we achieve a price point that's below that? So people can be spending money out on the course, not on the stuff that they, they need to wear or put on their clubs. Secondly, would be to be inclusive. Um, so also to do our part to make golf more approachable for all. So I think with the younger generation, the new growing demographics, one of the biggest pieces or feedback for the game of golf is that it's intimidating, it's expensive, and also it's a little stuffy. Um, thirdly, would be to be different. How do we create different patterns? How do we create different looks, different aesthetics um, that are appealing to all ranges of golfers from skill level to backgrounds? And um, lastly, used to be fun. Uh, I think from Swing Juice, I think definitely had that same vibe where we don't take ourselves so seriously. Um, golf doesn't need to be so serious. And, and really the most enjoyable memories that you have playing golf is when you're out with your friends having a good time, not the lowest round that you shot. All right. And then just to speak to some of the accessibility pieces too, I think we, we just had our highest um, sales month in May um, and really exciting piece for us, not just the sales numbers, where is who we are reaching. Um, so last month with our, with our highest sales numbers, we had 40% female um, consumers. Um, so that's huge for us to be able to basically be gender, gender neutral products um, and able to attract the female golfer um, as well as the male golfer. And then 75% are under the age of 45. So we're, we sought out to really hit those core younger demographics. Uh, and we're, we're achieving that by like some of the fun patterns that we have. So I'll walk through to some of our assortment quickly. Um, so what started it all was putter covers. Um, so we have um, mallet covers and blade covers, both with really strong magnets, which was the biggest feedback as we did consumer research. Um, no Velcro, um, all magnetic, weather resistant, really high quality stitching. And as we talk about retail ready packaging, um, it's already ready to hang up on, on a hanger um, for both the mallet and the blade cover. And as you can tell, the packaging fits, fits the brand aesthetic as well. Um, and then also, as you can see, um, the retail, um, $35 for these powder covers. A lot of times we hear you could charge away more for that, but that's not what we set out to do. Um, and then secondly would be the golf towels. Um, so some really fun patterns. Um, we have a wide range from um, kind of the 70s wave. We call it, we used to call that the, the futon wave, um, ranging all the way to the, we're based out of Minneapolis. So Paul Bunyan and Buffalo Plaid was another home run option for us there. And this is a really nice microfiber material, 24 by 15. So kind of that smaller, not the huge humongous towel that drags on the ground. Um, and then we have that new logo on the back. And then lastly would be our hats. Um, so we have a, a wide range of hats. I think one of the coolest pieces about it is we carry those patterns that are on our putter covers or our towels all the way through our hats. So under the brim, um, I'm actually wearing one that's an exception to the rule, but every single one of the, the rest of our hats has one of those patterns that we carry all the way through, which is really cool from a bundling opportunity, especially in a, in a shop when it's merchandised that way. And then also the wood covers. Um, so we do have fairway wood covers and driver covers. Like I said, priced at you know just under forty dollars and thirty seven dollars a piece. Um, and we've moved this over to a woven polyester, so really water resistant um, and a great material overall. And then just from a, a details from a rep spark standpoint, um, we have really low minimums, so two hundred dollar minimums. Um, we also have fully customization options um, at a low, low order quantity of 50 pieces. We have a full creative staff, Miles, the other, other co-founder couldn't make it today. Um, we have a full design staff that's available to help with customization for a tournament. Um, we just started doing junior league sponsorships too. So giving really cool gifts for, for juniors. Um, so really excited about that partnership as well. Very cool, Marcus. Thanks for walking us through. Love the line. Um, and I just know that the, the sell through on these must be crazy at the price points that you guys are bringing things out. So <laughs> congratulations. Yes, 30 seconds for a commercial. Can I put, put the video up? Yeah, go for it, man. Oh, perfect. All right. Let's see. Let's pop the video. with bland try some color with noon and golf 
and covers, putter covers, towels, hats, and more. Mix them and match them. The combinations are nearly endless. Guaranteed to make your golf game look better, even if you're not. They're practically indestructible. Wow, thanks Noonan Golf. Noonan Golf Co. I love it, man. Entrepreneur and spokesmodel. That's, that's some good stuff there, Marcus. <laughs> thanks for sharing that, man. That's great. That is great. Well, again, thanks for thanks for jumping on with us. Um, really look forward to, to working with you and, and seeing you again soon. Um, next up, uh, a really interesting company called My Golfing Store. Um, let's get out there through community. And just uh, a quick reminder to, to all the buyers on there, if you don't know this, um, you have access to or you can, can request access to all of these brands that you're meeting today, as well as tons of other brands uh, by navigating to RepSpark community, um, which you'll, you'll see in, when you're in any brand, you'll see a link to uh, community up in the upper right-hand corner. That takes you out to this discovery marketplace where you can find new brands and, and request access to those brands with, with one click. But um, right now let's talk about my golfing store. Uh, they are making the luxuries of golf affordable um, to anybody that plays, whether it's their Eagle Eye thousand yard range finder, which comes in and retails for under $200 and competes really well with Bushnell. Uh, they've got a 60 degree wedge out there that's under a hundred bucks. Um, and the rest of their lineup is delivering really quality stuff at affordable prices. And so I'm um, trying to take some of the, the edge off of, um, the, the fanciness of golf and, and letting every man get in there and, and play golf. So I'm uh, really excited to, to welcome these guys. We've got Rob Delaney from uh, my golfing store, I believe is about to pop in here. Nope. It looks like Rob was not able to make it today. Okay. That's too bad. Um, anyway, give my golfing store a look. Um, they've got again, fantastic accessories. They're carrying a lot of the hard goods that, um, and, and training aids that your members and your golf shop buyers are interested in um, at a lot more approachable price point. So, so definitely worth taking a look at, um, at what they're up to. And I understand that Cindy from Boathouse has joined us since we got started. Um, so let's go ahead and bring in Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Hello there. Thank you. Yeah, you uh, bet. thanks for, for popping in. It's great to see you. Um, so I'm Cindy DePetra Antonio, CEO of Boathouse Sport. I'm the founder, unfortunately, John's dropback couldn't make it today. Um, but thank you for the invite. It, um, we're very excited about this. As you had said earlier, John is a two-time Olympian in the 84 and 88 Olympics. He was an Olympic um, rower. We um, Boathouse Sport has, for over 30 years, made collegiate teams schools, high school, um, outerwear jackets. Um, we're really known for the quality of our outerwear jackets. And we've been making golf outerwear for over 30 years. What we're finding is a lot of these people who wore the jackets in their, as they call it, best days of their lives are coming back and saying, I want to rewear a boathouse jacket that has lasted me 15, 20 years um, from my college days. Um, it, all our product is made in Philadelphia. We have a cut and sew um, factory here, embroidery, sublimation, and, and um, such. We have um, made product for um, incredible amounts. I think it's um, over 2 million athletes in the past 30 some years. What we're finding now is we've got a lot of golf, um, a lot of the golf clubs calling us saying, we'd like you to make the outerwear. We make our Gore-Tex um, outerwear jackets and pants are worn by the whole grounds crew at the Philadelphia Eagles. We have a lot of NFL coaches that will only wear um, our jackets. We've done the LB, um, LPGA Championship, the Bay Hill Classic, Oakmont um, Country Club Classic, the PGA at Sawgrass. We've done for schools such as Yale, Penn, Notre Dame, Princeton, West Point, Rutgers. One of the key components of our um, outerwear is they're made for an athlete. So we have our trademark gusset. So where you get a full swing, um, and the, um, and we have men and women's styles and fit. Um, the Gore-Tex is guaranteed to keep you, um, dry and comfortable. 
Um, we have fast delivery because we're a U.S. factory. We don't have quite the supply chain issues that are out there. Um, we have small minimums. We can add a logo and we can turn around our product within um, two weeks. We can make custom products colors with a um, custom minimum of 24. Um, or you can order blanks and we can put the logo of, um, of anything right on the left, the right, um, the left or the right um, crest. So we, um, if you go online and you take a look at it, we've got styles that are our pants, our jackets, our hats. Um, we have vest and um, we can ship anything within 10 days um, with a request of, of your, um, of your logo. Um, our product is breathable, allows you a lot of movement and is made um, for athletes. It's tied and it's um, tried and tested. Um, and as I said, it's, you know, we support a, uh, we support and employ a local community here in Philadelphia. So thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Cindy, thank you for joining us today. Um, Cindy, outside of golf or what, it, just in rough terms, how much of golf is, how much of your business is golf? Sorry, that was a really awkward way to ask that. So, you know, some of the, so if you look at, look, you know, we've got different verticals. So if you look at the different sports, what we're finding is as golf is growing, um, and I love the presentation, by the way, by, um, I loved all the presentations, but Allie and Ellen, kudos for you and women's sports. We're finding women's sports are growing rapidly. Um, obviously, like everybody else and everything else that's, that is um, going on, golf is growing incredibly fast, um, as everybody knows. The, the key piece, um, the key piece about the golf is, is that we're finding they really want the quality, um, the quality outerwear and the outerwear that keeps them um, cool at the same time, keeps them dry. Um, and, and you have the ability to wear it in all weather. We're seeing that as everybody else is, the season is stretching on. So to answer your question, look, we do lacrosse. We do, um, we do a lot of sports. What we're finding now, and one of the reasons that we're getting into retail stores is we have, um, we went live with the NECOM about three years ago, blew the wheels off the bus, like many people did during the pandemic, but we have a very loyal customer. I mean, we have people that wore jackets. I have a, a very um, famous anchor that wore a jacket at Yale when he rode and came back and said, you know, I want to wear a jacket. I'm no longer at Yale, clearly, but want to wear that same jacket without the logo on. So we have a very loyal customer and our retail is rapidly growing because we have that consumer that remembers when they were either at prep school, they were at college, they were in high school that wore Boathouse. And so that's what we're really finding is that, um, is is that they want to wear this um, this brand again because they've worn it in their past and they you know they knew the quality that came there with it. That's great. I think um, Cindy, I mentioned before that I'm a customer. I think the boathouse pants I have were before you guys even got into golf. I've probably had right. them 20 years. And yeah. They I still wear them. They're still great. Yeah, that, they're, that's they're, what quality it, is remarkable. Yeah, that's and that's the key piece that I, I call them artisans that are here. I mean. You know, we have over 80 sewers here on the premises. It's why we can turn very quickly. And we've helped some, some um, you know, brands through COVID that had issues and such. But, you know, when people start to talk about, um, when people start to talk about quality or, you know, it's sort of the trigger when people talk about how. So it's a, it's a great yeah. story. Fantastic. Well, thanks again for joining us today. Um, no. Cindy, it was great to, great to have you. I'm sorry, Rob couldn't make it. We'll look forward to meeting our uh, two-time Olympia next time, maybe. John, yes. Thank you. John, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. That's okay. Um, well, great. So I understand that uh, we, we've solved some technical difficulties, and uh, Rob from my golfing store is here with us. So let me jump ahead to, uh, to their slide here. Hey, Rob, how are you, sir? I'm good, Joel. How are you? I'm good, sorry good. for technical difficulties. Hey, no worries. Thanks for joining us. I pitched you guys before, but I'll give you a quick uh, quick recap. Um, my golfing store is is bringing a lot of the really cool stuff from golf um, to folks and making it affordable, right? You guys have a, a thousand yard uh, range finder that's under um, under 200 bucks that competes with Bushnell. You've got a 60 degree wedge for under $100 that's, that's super high quality. 
Um, and we're, we're really excited to be working with you. Um, and I'll, Rob, I'll let you take it from there. Tell us a little bit about the company and, and what you want the buyers to know here. Awesome. I appreciate it. Well, uh, my name is Rob Donnelly. I'm the sales manager here at My Golfing Store, Inc., um, as well as the uh, managing rep spark uh, for customers and inquiries and everything like that. Um, just a little bit about My Golfing Store. Uh, so we've been in business for four years. Um, we have mainly been focused on the online space. Um, we are fully remote, as you can probably tell. I'm working from my, my home office now. Um, but that is something we have done really well in. Um, we've doubled every year over the last four years, specifically in the online space. Um, the one thing we are really looking to get involved in is more B2B and retail. Um, so we had gone to the PGA uh, show uh, this year with RepSpark in the back of our minds um, as a company that may provide some good opportunity for us. Um, and after some good conversations and easy transitions, um, here I am, which is great. Um, a few different topics that, you know, I wanted to go over on my golfing store. So on RepSpark, we list, that's correct. We have three range finders. Uh, we have our Gen 3, our Elite, and our Trail Scope. Uh, but my golfing store has a bunch more to offer. Um, so on our website, we mainly produce um, a bunch of different golf training aids, whether it's golf towels, uh, golf hitting mats, um, golf accessories, really whatever, whatever you need we may have. Um, another big thing we do work with is we have an online members academy. So we have multiple top 100 uh, PGA golf pros who are constantly producing uh, content in terms of training videos. Uh, our members are able to get online lessons with these uh, professionals anytime they need. Um, we offer you know, a bunch of giveaways. We offer a bunch of uh, discount codes to other companies, which is actually nice. Um, you know, We look for other companies to possibly offer a discount code and we store it in our members area. Um, and it kind of helps both ways. You know, We offer our members more and you know, we also help other businesses get exposure as well. Um, we recently just acquired a custom uh, club fitting shop down in Lady Lake, Florida, uh, next to the villages. So we're now producing uh, custom drivers, putters, uh, wedges um, that we'll be having on our online site as well, which will be great. Um, in terms of the range finders, I'm going to share my screen real quick just to go over what we have. So if everyone can see me here, um, these are our bread and butter in terms of what we sell. Um, so on the left side is our Gen 3 rangefinder. It sold for $90 uh, plus shipping on RepSpark, which compared to other rangefinders, you don't really see. Um, has an 800 yard range. We have slope technology as well as a, a flag lock sensor. Um, our elite range finder, which is on the right, we sell that on RepSpark for 105 plus shipping. Um, has a thousand yard range. Again, has uh, slope technology. It has the flag pole lock. Um, that one's more of our, our newer version. We do have a built in magnet with it. Um, we have two more range finders that we're coming out with. Uh, in the next two weeks, actually, we have our Gen 5 that'll be here in two weeks um, that has the option to charge with a cable as well. These use batteries. You'll have the option for both. Um, and our Gen, or excuse me, our Elite Pro will have a uh, built-in computer screen so you can see the yardage from there. Uh, so we have a bunch more products that we're coming out with that we'll be putting on to RepSpark. Um, in terms of kind of what sets us apart, you know, we are right up there in terms of the Bushnells, the Callaways, the Blue Tees, um, in terms of what our range finder does and with accuracy, we're just able to sell it at more than half the cost. Um, our biggest thing is volume right now. And we're looking to have everyone with a range finder from my golfing store in their hands. Um, and the price point that we have it at, we've, we've seen great success in terms of spreading our name um, and, and growing the brand. Uh, what comes along with this is customization. We are able to customize range finders. Uh, we just sold um, 400 to a hospital with their logo on it for a golf tournament. 
Uh, that turnaround time is probably 50 or 60 days, so it's not terribly long. Um, we do ship in terms of 10 or more. We carry up to a few thousand at a time. So in terms of quantities, uh, those are right from our warehouse in McHenry, Illinois. It's about five days uh, start to finish from when you order to when they're delivered. Um, so we have a lot of different growth opportunities coming, a lot of different products that we're coming out with. Um, and yeah, that's that's about it. I, I appreciate Rep Spark here and Joel for letting us speak and uh, happy to take any conversations moving forward. And uh, you'll reach me directly. So. Yeah, fantastic, Rob. Great stuff. Thank you for for jumping in. Sorry, we've had some some technical difficulties there in the beginning, but really appreciate appreciate your time. Um, yeah, I think um, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up. This has been has been really great. Um, doesn't look like we we had any any audience questions come across for the for the. Um, for the brands really appreciate everyone participating. Uh, hopefully everyone knows where to find uh, these brands in RepSpark and community. Um, if not, just let us know and we can, can certainly connect you. Um, again, thanks everybody for, for jumping in. Have a great rest of your day and we'll sign off with uh, sign off with that.